First, they gave us background extraction using AI. Then they gave us denoising using AI. And now Grexpert's at it again. This time, they're giving us deconvolution using artificial intelligence. And it's an AI model that deconvolves the nebulae and galaxies, leaving the stars completely unaltered. So let's check it out. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. All right, so like I mentioned, you have to go to Graxpert's GitHub repository to download the new beta version. As of time of recording, they have not updated their official website to be able to download it from there. So I'll leave a link in the description for this page. Once you get here, 3.1.0 release candidate one is the current version available. Come down to assets and download the version for your operating system. I'm on Windows. So this is the version that I downloaded. I'm not gonna go through the installation. It's just clicking next through everything. Leave all the defaults and you'll be ready to go. Once the installation is done, Done, just run it and you'll be warned that this is a beta release and that you'll also be notified when the new version is released click OK and we'll just click on load image and bring in a already stacked image from Cyril that I have and you can see over on the left hand side our new deconvolution option so if we just hit the plus button we'll just go over the settings here it's there's only a couple that we can play with at this time the first one is a deconvolution method which is set to object only that is currently the only option that we have so no need to worry about where that's at at this point in time and there's just two settings deconvolution strength and your image fhwm your full width half maximum in pixels so deconvolution strength uh, just regulates how strong the deconvolution is so start at five you're going to want to play with these back and forth to get your best results depending on your data so again this is the deconvolution strength the image fhwm is adjusted based on how much blur you expect in the image so and a good starting point for this number i'll show you if we jump over into Cyril and I have the same image loaded up over here if I come into star processing and hit my little gear icon to go into the dynamic PSF dialog and just tell it to detect all stars and then the button right here two over from the detect stars average PSF parameters if you click on that it'll give you an average FWHM so you can see we're between seven and eight so that would be a good a good starting number for us like seven or eight so taking that number and going back into Graxpert and we'll just bump this up to well let's just go in between two of them right we'll say 7.5 so we have a good starting point here for the FHWM if you want better fine details in your image while you're running this then you would lower this slider down to a smaller number if you want a stronger deconvolution, but at the cost of losing some of your fine details, then you go the other way and raise that number up. Again, the average of the two for this image is about seven and a half. So that's where we're going to start. So with those two settings at our starting points that we want to play with, we'll hit deconvolve image and you'll be prompted to select the AI model. So just wanted to run you through the whole process. Here's what I'm talking about. No object only deconvolution AI model selected. So click OK. Come over to the advanced tab here on the right find your object deconvolution ai model you can see it's set to none and just set it to the most current version available right now it's this 1.0 once we do that we can close the advanced and this time when we click it it's going to prompt us to download the ai model so when this comes up for the first time just click yes give it a few minutes it's going to go out and download that model for us and immediately after that it'll start the deconvolution process for the image Okay, so as you can see, the AI model has completed its download, and now it's in the deconvolution process. But just like the denoising function, it does take a little bit of time to get through it. And once it's complete, you can see that it changed up top to deconvolved object only. So if we go back to the original and zoom in here a little bit, I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see the process. And just like the other functions within Graxpert, you can go back to the original image and then select the option to look at the deconvolution that it performed. Um, again, you're going to play with these with both the strength and the FHWM to get your best results to your liking. But that is how it is working right now. The other thing that I wanted to show you is if you watched my video on the new functions and features that are coming up in the future release of Serial 1.4, and I mentioned that Grexpert is included in this new version. They've also included the deconvolution piece. So now right within Cyril, we have background extraction, denoising, and the deconvolution all snapped in. So by the time Cyril 1.4 comes out, you'll be able to run the new version of Grexpert with all three functions built right into Cyril.
So exciting times now. We've got a lot of new tools coming down the pipe for us to use. And now with Graxpert giving us not only background extraction and denoising, then we have deconvolution. And Cyril's already ahead of the game, and they have a plan to be snapped into the new version 1.4 when that finally gets released. So everything's going to come together for us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to take a moment to say thanks to all my members here on YouTube and buymeacoffee.com. Appreciate everybody joining. It really helps support the channel. Thanks to everybody that watches and makes donations, shares, likes, leaves comments. Like I said before, I really enjoy interacting with all of you. Thanks again. So I'm going to wrap things up. We'll see you on the next one. And clear skies.